Okay guys, first off, um, this is the Resi Blast, what I use to get this effect. So what you see here is totally done with Resi Blast. Uh, you can uh, Google it and you'll find uh, exactly what it is and where to buy it. Um, also the colors I'm using here is gold and bronze, that's my own stuff. But then I'm using um, color art. Uh, pigments and you'll see the colors that I used in a bit it's coming up right now and in the end I'll tell you some stuff that's been going on guys so this is what I'm using those are the three colors and this is it resin art luster pigments now I have this uh, little cabinet and this is the top of it which I'm going to be pouring on top and as you can see, I have some tape around the edges. I have sanded it down and it's ready to be poured on. The colors are all ready. So I had those three colors from Color Art, and I have a gold and a bronze. So I, in total, there are five colors. Now uh, I'm going to be just pouring it on. And in a bit, you're going to be thinking, lady, what are you doing? It is totally ugly. I don't know what you've done there, but that's going to go nowhere. But in the end, it, <laughs> it all comes together. So it's going to be uh, be okay. Now, as you see me pouring that stuff on, on there, um, in, in, now I think I'll do a different video. I'll do a different video and I'll uh, talk about what's been going on. That's better. Uh, one thing that did happen is that I lost my little fur baby, Nookie. She... Um, she is dead. She died. I have her cremated and we have her in her little urn. I don't know how you call one of those things that you put the ashes in, but she's uh, back home and uh, I'm not totally over it yet. It's going to take a bit. But as you can see, I'm just pouring on the resin and uh, that's a uh, you know it's going to be first it's going to be really really ugly before it gets better because first i thought i was going to use that heat tool to just blow over the uh the resin and make these nice wavy patterns but that didn't work out so then i took a uh, an old you know one of those credit card things and i swiped it and then all of a sudden i had no color anymore and then I thought, well, no color, then what else to do but use Resi Blast. And Resi Blast is really something that, you know, just gives you back the colors. So I was really happy with that. Or I would have had to scrape it all and start all over again. But I wasn't planning on doing that. Um, well, I think this is going to go on for a bit. So I can talk a little bit. You know, at work... Um, I uh, stopped uh, doing the um, managing a team. I stopped with that. And right now I'm doing um, everyone that comes in uh, new. Uh, I help them. I first, uh, they come into my team. So I have like 50 or something people at the moment. And I help them to uh, get to the point where they can go to their team managers. Some you know sometimes it takes five six weeks some people take eight weeks you know just depends on how fast they pick it up so that's what i'm doing now it's giving me a little bit less stress um that was before the coronavirus struck but it was giving me less stress and i really enjoyed it and now it's uh with the corona stuff it is totally out of hand uh we all work from home we don't go to the company anymore so um Instead of me working from 9 in the morning to 2 in the afternoon, now you start working at 7.30 and you go up till about 10 o'clock in the evening because, you know, people are working from home and they need your help and all that kind of stuff. So right now it's, it's just really stressy. So I won't really be doing um, uh, videos just, you know, r right now because I just need these weekends to... Uh, See, that's my phone, and they're just going to be keep on going. Okay. Um, so, that was going on at work. Now we are into the coronavirus stuff. I don't know what to tell you about it, but, you know, 
My husband already had it. Uh, he didn't even feel a thing. He went, he went to um, a, um, a sort of a, I don't know how you call it, quantum response. That is someone that, you know, checks your blood and stuff. And he already had the antibodies in his blood for corona, so he already had it. He didn't even feel anything. And I think I've had it too, because I did have, like for a week, I had um, pretty much a headache. And I normally don't have headaches. Well, rarely. So, and now for like a week I've had a headache. So probably I have it too. And um, we're just, you know, we don't feel much, uh, you know, except the headache. But I don't know. So uh, I'm going to be, let my, get my blood checked next week. And maybe he'll see that I have corona too. Because if your dickie has it, I'm pretty sure I have it. I just cannot keep my fingers out of my mouth or, or out of my eyes. So, and I've been keeping track and, you know, it's just, the, you know, the whole corona thing. I don't know. I don't know what to think about it. Some Sometimes I think, yeah, it's really bad. And then I read stuff about how many people die of the flu. And then I think, okay, I don't know. We'll just leave it there. Um... Nuki, Nuki, my little Nuki, she died, um, uh, she had a, a tumor and the doctor wanted to operate her and I was really hopeful and then um, even before they took her, um, they brought her, they didn't bring her back out of the anesthetic. Um, I, I sat outside in my car waiting, you know, for a word from the doctor and she said, you know, we can't do this, it's too far gone and it was in her um, intestines and all, all over the place. So um, she said the the best thing to do is just let her go to sleep. And that's what we did. But it was pretty sudden and it was pretty, I don't know. It's her, uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to, you know, go for another dog. This uh, impacted me pretty much. Okay, back to the resin, guys. This, uh, as you can see, it's turning out to be a total mess. Can you see, you know, someone else would just stop right here and think, you know, let's scrape this thing. Let's just, you know, forget about it. This isn't going to turn out any way <laughs> I like it. And um, I'm just, you know, swiping over it with that little credit card thing, thinking, for, you know, what am I going to do with this? Because it's a mess. And then I'm thinking, okay, we got to get some Resi Blast. And we're going to make this better because, you know, throwing that away, scraping it, it's going to be one big mess, all sticky and all yucky. And then that's not going to work. So now I have this little toothpick, which I dip into the Resi Blast and I just put little dots, just, you know, just touch the resin with the little toothpick with the Resi Blast on it. And as you can see, it's already starting to spread and, um... As I go along, you'll see that where I've been, it just gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And all of a sudden, all the colors come back up. So I was pretty happy with that because I wasn't looking for it on, you know, just scraping it and cleaning it all off with alcohol or whatever. Because you can't get that stuff off wood. It's really, really difficult. So as you can see here, they're already starting to get really, really big. So, um, now in Holland, we can't go anywhere. We can't go anywhere on vacation. I was going to, you know, just take off. I was thinking of going to the Maldives or something like that, just two weeks on the beach and do nothing. But now we can't go anywhere because uh, we have something like 200,000 people from the Netherlands are stuck abroad. So there are people in Colombia, there are people all over the place, and we can't get back home because there are no planes flying. It It is really bad over here. It's, it's sort of like uh, Italy. We're going in the same um, graphic line as Italy. So um, there's going to be a lot of people um, dying. And I started looking, you know, about around for um, how many people normally die in Holland of the influenza virus and that was about 9,000 in a bad year so we're up to 106 I think we have 106 people confirmed that um, died from the coronavirus 
And we're not testing anymore because we don't have the test kits anymore. And the people in the hospitals, they don't have those little mouth caps anymore. And we don't have gloves anymore. They're all, you know, sold out. Um, first, I was getting towards later. The same thing happened down here. Everyone's, I don't know, what's, what's with the toilet paper? You don't get the diarrhea with the coronavirus. So why do you need all the toilet paper? So I just let that pass me by because I'm thinking, this is ridiculous. Then they started to go for the painkillers. Then they started to go for the uh, soap stuff. Then they went for the pasta. Then they went for the beans. I don't know. It's totally crazy over here. We have so much food, you're not going to starve to death. But they're just thinking they have to stock up. I don't know why. Um, oh, i got to make sure that I don't run out of time uh, while I'm talking. So that's the um, where we are at the moment here in Holland. Everyone's, uh, you know, doing the hoarding. And we call it hamstering, like a little hamster for the winter. So these people are going out every day and buying everything out of the supermarkets. Um, right now, we have already put in place that the older people can come in early and they get to go into the shop first. And then when they have been done their shopping, then the, the shop is really going to open for uh, the rest of the uh, people. Uh, I think that's a, a good deal because um, the, the elderly don't want to really be in a really crowded shop because they are much more vulnerable for the uh, virus and you don't want to do that. Um, we have about, f for the whole Holland has uh, something like 1150 uh, IC beds. ICU, I think you call them. We call them IC beds. And uh, most of them are already filled. So um, that's going to be a, a problem. I think around Sunday they're going to be all filled. And then I don't know what's going to happen. Uh, they did uh, get the um, military involved. They have some of those units. So they're going to do that. And I know that our minister is going to try and get some more um, um, f those ventilators. They're, he's going to try and get more of those, but I think he's pretty late. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, that's the corona thing. I bet you have heard enough of corona. Uh, you know, after this, I don't even want to see the beer anymore because <laughs> of the name. They should switch the name to something else because... It's going to leave um, a really bad memory for a lot of people. Okay, so now you see um, right there, you see um, all the uh, resi blast on it. And I'm just adding a little bit of glitter. And then I'm going to call it a day and I'm going to let it, you know, just do its thing. And, um, well, that's about it. I think I'll uh, just... Um, take a little bit off uh, the end here and um, I'm gonna wish you all um, a real good weekend uh, stay safe wash your hands and um, I'll uh, make a video sometime soon but I don't know when guys I can't promise okay thank you all for watching love you all to pieces I really do Oh, I only have a couple of seconds left. Okay, so here comes little Nookie. That's her. And a thank you for everyone that emailed me and for all the good get well wishes. Thank you. Bye-bye.